The 29-year-old security guard worked at a facility for juvenile delinquents. Born in New York to Afghani parents, Omar Mateen lived here in Port St. Lucie, some 200 kilometers from Pulse nightclub. He had a clean criminal record and two firearm licenses. But it's emerged he was previously investigated by the FBI. The FBI first became aware of Martin in 2013 when he made inflammatory comments to co-workers alleging possible terrorist ties. The FBI thoroughly investigated the matter, including interviews of witnesses, physical surveillance, and records checks. In the course of the investigation, Mateen was interviewed twice. Ultimately, we were unable to verify the substance of his comments, and the investigation was closed. His father said early on Sunday that his son's actions had nothing to do with religion, and that he was homophobically motivated. He said that Mateen was enraged after seeing two men kissing on a Miami street some months ago. Meanwhile, neighbors remember him as an ordinary teenager. Did you ever feel like he was, uh, didn't like gay people or felt like that no. was something that offended him? No. Omar was a cool, calm, and collective person. He was never an angry monster, never seen him in a fist fight once in my life. Loved to hang out with women, party with young kids our age. He was a normal teenage person, lived a normal life. Never crazy, never. But in an interview with the Washington Post, his former wife paints a more alarming picture of a volatile and violent husband who would beat her. His gun licenses were set to expire in September of next year. Not in time to prevent the worst mass shooting ever on US soil.